Hello, my name is Drake, and today we're going to learn how to make these cool, color-changing modular light boxes to grow plants. Each box is outfit with a uh, LED floodlight. They change its colors using remote. And using these floodlights and these boxes, we can do some cool little experiments to change the way plants grow. So the first thing we need to do is figure out where the light is going to be going. The box that we use are these plastic filing boxes. They have two sides. One side is about 18 inches and one side is about 12 inches or about a foot. We need to make sure we use the long side as the height and the short side is where the light can be going. This is because we want the most space possible for our plants to grow. There's a hole at the top of the box for the light to shine through and for the sensor to be red. So what you can see on this light is there's a spot for the LEDs to shine through and a little hole for the IR sensor. The IR sensor is what is read by the remote. So when the remote sees it, it turns on, and when you cover that sensor, the remote can't be seen. So we need to make a hole big enough on the top of the box for the light, the sensor, but not too big where the whole light falls through. So we're gonna measure out from here to here. Using our ruler, we measure from the side of the IR sensor to the top of the light, which is roughly about three inches. And we're gonna measure how big of a hole we need for the actual light, which is about five and a half inches. So using those measurements, we're gonna make a stencil. I already have done so, so three by five and a half inches. And then we're gonna cut that out. We're gonna place our stencil on top of the box. Remember the short side, so we have the tall side for the plants to grow. We're gonna place a stencil about in the center. So center between here, center between here. Then we're gonna use a printer marker and mark roughly where we're gonna cut out. So roughly here. we've marked where we're going to remove the plastic to make a hole, we're going to cut it out. I'm going to use a Dremel tool using this, the disc cutter, but you also could use any sort of hacksaw or a small saw or even a box cutter if you're very careful. The key here is to do it slow, get it all nice and clean and cut, and not to worry about any, you know, boogers or things that happen on the side of it. We can clean it up after. Now that I've cut out the piece using the Dremel tool, you'll notice we have some of these little plastic boogers hanging off the side. I'm going to go through and clean it up with the Dremel tool, but you also could use sandpaper. The key here is it doesn't really matter because we're going to cover it all with tinfoil anyway. So now that we cleaned up some of these little boogers off the side, it's important to check to make sure our light fits. So again, we're going to place it on the, on the box like this, and we're going to check underneath to make sure we see that not only all the light shines through, but also the IR sensor is visible and the light doesn't fall through. So now that we have cut out the whole top of the box, we need to cover the entire inside of the box with aluminum foil. So just using a normal aluminum foil, we're gonna roughly measure out each side of the box. So I'm gonna start here, roughly measure it out, carefully rip. And now it's important to note that aluminum foil has a shiny side and a dull side. We need to make sure that the shiny side is what goes on the inside reflecting back towards the plants. The reflective aluminum foil is helpful to shine the light back into the plants. The other side really won't be bad, but it's not quite as bright. So I place it in like this. We're gonna roughly line it up. And then just use normal scotch tape or just any kind of tape and tape it inside the box. It doesn't need to be perfect. On the outside, I like to wrap it around to help it stay in place. And now we're gonna go through and do the same thing for all the sides, and then we'll talk about the hole when we're done. Now that we have put tin foil entirely on the inside of the box with the reflective side facing inward, we're gonna clean up the top hole. So using an X-Acto knife, or just a regular knife, we're gonna cut an X like this, so you can wrap the, the aluminum foil around the edges. So nice and carefully, cut like this. It doesn't need to be perfect. Just roughly an X there, here, and here. And I'm gonna wrap it up and around the edges. And then using tape, I'm gonna secure all the edges down. 
I'm also going to tape a little bit around up here to make sure this top piece of aluminum foil doesn't fall down. Now that we have the box all with aluminum foil on the inside, the hole cleaned up the top, we need to place our collector tray at the bottom. This is a 9x13 aluminum tray that we're going to put the bottom of the box to collect water and have some extra storage for our plants. So it doesn't quite fit, so by bending up the sides of our, of our tray like this, just ever so slightly, it makes it allow to fit in the bottom of the box. Slides right in. Now that that's in there, we're going to place the light in the top. In order to control when the lights are come on and turn off each day, we're going to use one of these timer outlets. The timer outlets has all 24 hours on there and it spins around as the day progresses. So the first thing to note is the, the when they're pushed in, this means on. When they're pushed out, this means off. So right now I have it set to turn on at 7 a.m. and turn off at 7 p.m. for a 12 hour daylight shift. I'm gonna set it to the time right now, which is roughly 10 a.m. And then we're gonna use this for the rest of them. It's also important to note that on the outlet there is a timer switch and an, an eye switch. Eye means it's indefinitely on. The timer means it's going to need on and off based off the timers. So the way we're going to use this is we're going to use this timer outlet. We're going to plug a surge protector into timer outlet, one of these, and then we're going to plug all of our lights into one of these surge protector bars. This allows all the lights to turn on and off at the same time while being protected with a surge protector. This we plugs into the wall. Now that you've built all your boxes, you can place them any way you would like. Some people decide to place them in a row, sitting on the floor or on a table. Others decide to stack them. If you want to stack them, all you need to do is cut a piece of 2x4 into small 6-inch sections. Then put one piece on either side of the LED like this. This allows you to stack your box on top of another while giving you some space in between. The space is important to keep the LED cool and allow airflow. Be careful though, because if you decide to stack your boxes, they can fall over. If you have any questions or want to see other cool things to do with your boxes, check us out on exploringplants.com or follow us on YouTube or find us on Facebook. Thank you for watching and see you soon.